Hey guys, Supreme Tuft here with another LEGO Transformer. So here we have Heavy Load. Now this is one of three of Heavy Load's er, modes, and this is his jet mode, and as you can see he has a blue f thruster. And I can honestly say this is not his greatest mode, but yeah, I just thought it was... It looked enough like a jet where it could be shown, but yeah. Now, Heavy Load is supposed to be companion, a companion scientist with somebody who will be in my next video, if all of the planning goes right, but yeah, they were designed to be with each other, but I'll show why they're supposed to be with each other in the other one's video. But yeah, so for a comparison, here he is in his jet mode next to Stripes, is what I decided to call him, the target, Mindbender's target master. But yeah. So yeah, you really can't tell that this can turn into what it can, other than pretty much the thruster, but yeah. So, to get into his next mode, which I would think of as a storage container, or like, a cargo. H hence why I called him Heavy Load, because, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to fold the wings in. Then you want to bring the legs out on these T-bone joints. But then, you don't want to bring them all the way out, because you want to rotate these one-by-one one slopes. 180 so they're facing outward and you want to bring them down so they look like they're connected and you just want to bring in the bottom part of the legs down and it should align with the arms to make a box so yeah now he does have this little groove in the middle that's for the other transformer that he's companioned with to have the cockpit go down right there but yeah so here he is in his storage container mode. Now for a comparison, here he is with stripes. And as you can see, stripes is much wider. And here he is with the little comparing droid. And yeah. So, there really isn't noth anything to do in this mode. Like, there's no articulation. I guess if you wanted to, you could take this piece, or this entire piece off, and he could become a headmaster. And you can have him, this can be the headmaster part, and then you can just have the eye up here. If you wanted to, you could add little hands right here, but I prefer to just leave it like this. So, yeah, so... Now that both of his modes are out of the way, let's get started with the transformation. So, to transform him, what you want to do is you want to bring out the arms like they're in jet mode. You want to bring the legs down, but not all the way. You're going to break off his kneecap. Then you want to rotate these like you're going into jet mode. He is really easy to transform from jet mode. And then you just want to bring out the legs a little bit so that it doesn't look like they're connected. Align the kneecaps with the legs. And then rotate the feet up. And you just bring his head all the way down, and there you go. Here you have heavy load in, er, heavy load in his robot mode. And, yeah, as you can see, he is, he d really doesn't have any hands, but he's not, to me he's not meant to be on the field. He's supposed to be, like, a mechanic or, like, a worker droid if he wanted to. But, yeah, for comparison, here he is with stripes in his robot mode. And, yeah, as you can see, he does get a lot bulkier. Here he is with the comparing droid. I think that the comparing droid and stripes are just going to be my main comparisons from now on. If you would like me to do any other comparisons of popular characters, 
like stripes, just let me know down in the comments. But yeah. So for articulation, his head, I guess you could have his head be like this, but I like to have it like this so he doesn't have just that giant neck. But yeah, his head can go down this far and back that far. His arms can go down that far and up that far. His legs do have a swivel because they're on a T-joint. And they can go that far. And then his knees, caps can move. But his feet can go down this far and up this far. And then the inside of the leg can move as well. Let me just make him able to stand. But, yeah. That is pretty much it for Heavy Load. So if you do build this, please be sure to give me credit. Like and subscribe, but thanks for watching. See you in the next video.